Okay, so, um, yeah, what we're gonna do today, today, we're, we're not gonna, guys, it's the beginning, we're not gonna make a lot of progress today. <laughs> all I did on the, uh, live stream, literally, all we did was build these starter houses, we don't have anything else. I collected a ton of dark oak, um, which is what we're gonna build our actual house out of. That thing, like I said, was just temporary, but what I wanna do is this, okay, cool. Okay, I have a bucket of water. What I need, so we need to do some mining. We need diamonds, obviously, right? Priority number one. But in order to get diamonds, we need to get down into diamond, you know, diamond mining level, which is level 10 for me. I, I, guys, I mine on level 10. Mine on level 10 if you want diamonds. That's where they're at. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. But anyways, you can see here, we're at, we're at level 78. That's a lot of digging to get down. And so what I want to do is I want to cheat a little bit. And what I mean by cheat is I want to get some water elevators going on. Now, if you look at this map, there's a red spot, not the red X, but the red lines. That's lava. Okay. And so what I want to do, and that's a giant ravine. So what I want to do is I want to go to the bottom of that ravine. I want to use my water bucket and I want to use the lava that's there. And I want to build a nether portal because I need I need soul sand and I need a magma block. And uh, it looks like Alpha was on earlier today expanding his, his farm. I did build a campfire for him and one for Dark Absolute as well. But so, uh, yeah, because I don't have a diamond pick to be able to mine obsidian yet. And I kind of, you know, it, it's one of those catch-22 things. I need a diamond pick to get obsidian to get into the nether so that I can get magma and soul sand so that I can get diamonds. Yeah, it's 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 a big vicious cycle. So let's make our way to that ravine, which is straight this direction. Okay, all right, so now what we're gonna do... Holy crap, that scared the freaking crap out of me. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we have... Let's do it right here. Wow, dang it, there's no... Okay, put that back, one, two, one, three, four, there, okay, so I'm gonna put, <laughs> that's so freaking scary, okay, lava there, okay, and then what we're gonna do is, like so, yep, and then we can just, honestly, we can just leave that, actually, and just like that, we are back with a flint and steel, thanks to the magic of cutting out extra video. I see you up there, giant slime. I'm gonna come and kill you too, if I can figure out a way to get up there, that is. Or maybe I can get you, oh, hello little baby slime. Give me your guts, yes, thank you. This is a great spot, this is a nice little slime farm right here. Okay, um, can I get up there? Thank you. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, there we go. How many we got? 18. That's awesome. We're off to a good start. Okay, let's go ahead and ignite our portal. Ooh, I hear another one. Okay, focus though. We got it. We got things to do. Okay, here we go. Into the nether. Full food. I have no idea what we're going to encounter here. We have our shield. And um, here we go. Here we go. Wait, you have to hold shift in order to hold shift up? Is that what it is? No, yeah, apparently that's what it is. Okay, I see soul sand. Ooh, another, oh, you guys, we're right in another fortress. Yes, that's amazing. Okay, uh, oh, 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 okay. All right, all right, all right, all right, your territory. No, do not break my portal. Do not break my portal. Ooh, okay. Uh, okay, we got, where even, oh, there he is. Okay, okay. We're, this is not good, we're burning. Okay, we're out, we're out, we're out, we're out, we're out, we're out. Oh, hello, Enderman. Okay, I, guys, I need a magma block. I need a magma block. Okay. Where, if I were a magma block, where would I be? I would be probably down here. Yes, look at that, look at that, guys. I would be a great magma block because I know where other magma blocks hang out. That's, that's a thing. That's definitely a thing. Don't make fun of me. 
And now that we're back, I'm going to show you guys where we plan on putting our mine. We thought that this little hole right here looks perfect for a mine. We'll clean it up, obviously, but this is the start of it. So there's a lot of caves branching off of this. But what I thought is we could have a cool mining entrance, make this like a mining mountain town kind of a deal. And then down here is where we'll actually have our mine. I started digging the stairs down and I realized, oh my goodness, it's going to take so long to do this, especially with a stone pickaxe. So yeah, I just kind of stopped. All right, so this is going to be, you know, down and then right here will be up or maybe vice versa because I'm already digging right here. But what I'm going to do is now I think I have everything that I'm going to need in order to do this. So here's here's what I'm here's what I'm going to do. Um, you know, what? let's just OK, try that again. There we go. Let's convert that and then uh bam do that right there and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to make a door okay now here's here's what i'm thinking let's make sure that this works okay so if i put water here and then i put down a door yes okay so now i can breathe and then i can break down a couple blocks and then i can put my door back down so yeah that's the plan that's what we're going to do and that's how we're going to keep ourselves from dying because as you know you never dig down you never dig straight down however i'm now realizing this is going to actually take a while because it takes a while to break blocks in the water so here we have our two this one is the one that has the water right now and then this one still needs to be dug down so this is going to be up because i need to get back up so what i'm going to do is place a door actually no no <laughs> Place an extra doors. Okay, uh, place a door. I mean, I guess, no, 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 no. It's gotta be right. I want it to be like that. Yeah, that works, okay. And then what we'll do is break that out. Okay, water comes pouring down. Okay, good, good, good. Now, water source block there. Okay, that's important because now we're gonna plant our kelp boom, like so. And what that does is every time you plant a kelp block, now watch this boom that okay well there we go that <laughs> it made a water source block um it just it just also broke at the same time so yeah so what i'm going to do is we're going to go all the way up just like this and it's going to almost kill us getting up to the top because i swam up to the top once already and it almost killed me so yeah we're going to almost die we'll have like three or four hearts oh we made it a lot faster that time okay cool good 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 and now what we got to do is we got to go all the way back down to the bottom and then we're going to break that and then we're going to put down our soul sand and that is going to make our column going right the way to the top it's like you move faster in the kelp i don't i don't know what it is okay so i'm going to break that block out and then we're going to put the soul sand there. Now it should be source blocks all the way to the top and we should get bubbles. Yes, we do. Okay, here we go. Here's a test. And do I have anything down here that I need? No. Okay, so here we go. And there it is shooting all the way right up to the top, traveling at light speed. And there it is. We are up. Fantastic. And there we have it. We have both of them in place. So if I hop in like so now i'll be coming from this direction coming down the stairs amazingly enough not one cave oh alpha's on hey oh um not one mine or excuse me cave or lava or anything between me and the uh, floor level 10 in both of the places that i built okay i was definitely holding shift there you should not have hurt me and so yeah it was just a safe journey all the way down but we did take those precautions okay now if i just step into this and stay facing the way that i am let's see where that puts me perfect that will put me walking right out the stairs but let's not break our torches okay there we go perfect okay so guys i am going to make this look at least a little bit nicer for where we're at right now in the in the series which is day number two okay day two give me a break all right and then i'll show you guys what we come up with and i have the well i have it half done ish <laughs> It's, you guys, it takes so long to do anything in the beginning of a world. Did I mention that? Have I have I said that at least 20 times already? 
So here's the entrance for the staircase going down. Now I haven't done any of this yet. This this all is gonna be a big terraforming project, but this right here, guys, I love these lanterns. And I listen, 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 listen. Isn't that awesome? Oh, I love it. Oh, okay. So as we come down the staircase, we are gonna hit our head on this block right here. Well, look at the roof, guys. Look at this. These are campfires that I put up there and I used water to put out the fire and then now we just have this cool pattern on the roof. And there's a cave somewhere, somewhere around here. It sounds like it's in that direction, but I keep hearing mobs bouncing around. So I made, I took all the iron that I had and I made the, oh, yay, I got more iron. Oh, awesome. Wait, was that? Oh yes, that was mine. Okay, I was gonna say, I know Alpha was down here. I wanna make sure I'm not taking his iron. You know what we should do? We should maybe make label like Animus J, Alpha, Dark, you know, I don't know. Um, or maybe I should just remember to take my iron out. So in any case, uh, yeah, we got these. And then I have these barrels over top. I figured we could put coal inside and store it for making torches and also obviously for operating the furnaces. And then over on this side, I thought it would be nice to have some chests be able to store you know just toss all of our extra stone in there kind of a deal and then over here i have more barrels not necessarily for storage more so just for decoration crafting tables for decoration and also for usage of course and then as we drop down there's something i want to show you guys that i found while i was clearing things out and working on the down here area so down here this part is almost done because we're not going to make this part super duper fancy. This part is going to, you know, not really be seen that much. It, it really, it's not, not necessary to keep this part super fancy. Yeah, this is more so, we just, we just want a fancy way to get up and down. And then the rest of it's just going to be, you know, messy mining because you know how mining goes. But anyway, so I was digging off in this direction and I found a cave up here. So I came and look at what we have right here. Our first diamonds. And I gotta say this texture, they look a little more turquoise to me than uh, than they used to, but I have not much life left on this iron pickaxe. Oh, but I did get those that iron out. So let's come over here and let's make up another iron pickaxe. There we go. Oh, I found two emeralds as well while I was digging. And let's go mine those bad boys. And these are the first diamonds of the server, I believe, at all. I, I don't think anybody else has found any yet. And we got a really big chunk going on here. Oh, heck yes. Man, I wish I had fortune because that was... Oh, man, it just keeps on going. This is my lucky freaking day. All right, how many did we get? Nine diamonds, you guys. That's incredible absolutely incredible so and there's tons of coal tons of redstone let's see is there anything else i didn't oh there's some iron up there um and then a whole bunch of lava yeah so i'm going to keep filling out this area right down here and then i'm actually going to do a bit of a mining session and this part all i'm going to do is i'm just going to basically make it safe so that when you come down here to mine you're not going to you know, run into a, a mob farm, basically. Uh, so I'm just going to keep filling in these bottom half slabs. And then that's basically going to be it. I'm going to build a, there's going to be a small tunnel going that direction, small tunnel going that direction. I wanted it to go this way, but we, yeah, lava lake. So uh, that's what all I'm going to do for this. So I'm going to go do the mining. And, oh, and the nice thing about this too is we can play with lighting. We don't have to have ugly torches everywhere because we have half slabs that we can spawn. But we do want it there because I think mobs can spawn on crafting tables. Anyways, I'm going to do a bit of mining once I clear out a few more blocks here. And then I'll show you guys what we get. And I've done about as much mining as I'm going to do for today. I went for quite a while. I did go pretty far. I burned through quite a few pickaxes, uh, both stone and I started making iron ones because I did start finding iron. So let's check in this barrel and see what we got. And boom. Look at that guy, 17, 17 diamonds. That's amazing. And three emeralds too. Um, I, I just kept finding, kept finding more diamonds. Uh, and it's funny too, because Alpha's on right now 
And so I told him, I was like, hey man, I found diamonds and I found a whole bunch of them. At the time, I think I had found 15 already. And I told him, he's like, dude, I've been, what did he say? He said, um, I've been digging, he said, I've been mining for two days for diamonds. So I was like, oh, I found them like five blocks away from where the mine starts. I just broke through a wall and was like, oh, hey, looky here. So uh, yeah, anyways, um, that is mining all taken care of. He is down there mining right now, so we cannot sleep. But to conclude the video, we are going to take a step towards getting our food situation under control because, yeah, it's rough, guys. It's rough. It is absolutely rough. Okay, let's see. Let's make this our valuables, which I think I already um, started. Yeah. Okay, so there we go. Let's do that. Okay, and then we'll put these just here for now. Okay, right there. Okay, so we want one, two, three, four, and five and we're going to be getting our food situation under control like i said because yeah we're struggling we're struggling here so what we're gonna do is i've been collecting chicken eggs here over time we got two stacks two stacks of 16 that is and so what we're gonna do alpha has this little miniature coop i guess you could say but what we're going to do oh, we got us three more is we're gonna get started on an egg collecting system so that we can make the automatic chicken cooker uh, and in order to do that where should we do it should we do it back here yeah i'm thinking we should do it back here so so what we can do is we can take that and go like so so we can still access our chest which has two pencils in it and then what we can do is we can half slab around the top of this bad boy like so and that will prevent the chickens from getting out and that should do it now one thing that we can also do to probably help the chickens a little bit is to put down some carpet so if i make some shears really quick See, okay, here's my thing, guys, with shears. Why they they're made they wood with teeth, right? It shouldn't be two pieces of iron. It should be a piece of iron and, and like maybe a stick or a plank or something. It's I don't know. That's that's my thing. Anyways, uh, so let's put all of these guys that I have been working on breeding up. And is that all of them? Yeah, we just got the baby. I wish I could I wish I could shoot a cow, but I can't. And now let's do our little cheater deal here where we plop that down okay yep oops put one okay the cow's in the way and then what we'll do is we'll come around here and we'll place that and then we'll go ahead and launch all of our chicken eggs in there and see what we end up with okay so i wasn't i i, I was confused guys uh, Go figure, right? Go figure. Okay, we didn't we didn't get very many chickens in here. I have three, one escaped, and this guy is about to grow up into the wrong block. So I don't know. I'm just gonna put that one there and hopefully when he grows up he'll automatically move over into here. I think maybe because it's a half sub he'll be okay. But we'll have to come back around and check on him and then close that. Well, no, once he's an adult, it won't matter so long as he's in this area. And I don't know why these guys are trying to get out like this. But let's see if I can, here we go. We've got a roof over it. Okay, and yeah, and they stopped jumping, cool. So that takes care of that. Let's go ahead and put a torch right up there. Put it right there, put it right there so it looks better. Anyways, um, so that's it for this episode, guys. And hopefully you're enjoying this. This is the first official video for our channel for Unity SMP Mountain Village. And I think we're just calling it Unity SMP Mountain. But, oh, I almost forgot. We created a Discord server specifically for the fans of Unity SMP. So anybody who's a fan of Unity SMP, you can join our Discord server. Check in the description down below on this video for that link join up and talk to us and let us know what's going on and what you think and how everything is going but that's it for today guys if you enjoyed this video make sure to hit that like button and if you really liked it then make sure to subscribe but that's it i'm Adams j and i'll see you next time